just your little secret I didn't hear the sirens I didn't want to see the warning signs And now I pay the price, yeah Oh, I should've known It hits me like a tidal wave Every time you say my name Își fac apariția pe gazon Cu jiul în dreapta Și fălticenii în stânga Gata pentru marea confruntare Care va urma
So big news guys in the football manager community as you probably already know football manager got delayed up until march 2025 so um that gives us more more time to win the champions league with Gilles here welcome to the stream it's uh friday october 11th i am back after four days break uh, last stream was on monday and today, guys, um, we're going to continue season number 23 with uh, more games in Liga 1 and the Champions League. Of course, we have elite players joining today. Uh, we have two great players joining. Hey, Best Murph. Welcome to the stream, man. I hope you're feeling better. Um, yeah, and, you know, guys, um, in a way, I'm happy because we can, you know... Take our time a little bit with this uh, save. Not that we didn't take our time after 23 seasons, but at least we're not pressured by uh, the release of FM25 anymore. So right now uh, we can actually do a proper job and uh, improve the team the way we want and win the Champions League um, with um, not trying and not damaging uh, our finances and not trying to, to rush things as we did in the past. Since our last stream, guys, um, I played some games on my own. Let's see here. Uh, the last game we played on the stream was Hermannstadt 6-0 at home. Uh, we beat Uta 3-1 in Liga 1. Away 1-0 at home against Petrolu. 4-0 away at Fecharges. 4-1 against Fece Ukraiova at home. And in the Champions League debut for season number 23... We won again against Manchester City, this time 4-3. The first time when we beat them uh, was last year, also at home, 4-1. This time was uh, a tougher game, and um, I want to show you the highlights. Uh, I feel better, just a bit tired. Uh, it's okay, man. The weekend is coming right now, Bessemer. You have time to, to rest, man. If you don't watch too much football, as always, or wrestling. <laughs> So yeah, guys, let's see the highlights for Manchester City. It was a roller coaster, as always. We're doing well this season. We're um, we're having great results in uh, Champions League and also in Liga One. First goal came early in the eighth minute. Ravnic with an assist for Lopez, our new. Inside four on the right that we signed last stream. And I will show you again his stats and his attributes. He is great. And then Luis here for Lopez. Again, Lopez takes a shot, hits the post. And then from the rebound, Hanus is there with a simple tap in. 2 nothing. It will be a slow weekend. I don't watch so much national games. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot, actually. Yeah, that's why I'm not uh, betting too, too much this weekend also. Because... Uh, the national games, uh, the international games are not too good for the betting strategy that I use. And uh, it was 2-1, 2-2 in the 18th minute from a penalty. And then 3-2, Zekic with a powerful header from um, very close range. And then 3-3, guys. Uh, Manchester City scores a late one in the 82nd minute through Vare Howell. One-on-one -on -one chance with Murashan and he doesn't miss. And I did a lot of changes, everyone was very, very tired, but in the end, our quality decided the fate of this game, and Kalkani here with a beautiful cross, a low cross, a little luck involved in this one too, but Hanus always at the right uh, spot, and at the right time he scores, and 4-3, three, three points, and very strong um, win and debut in uh, the new UEFA Champions League campaign, season number 23. Yes, that was a nice corner goal. Definitely uh, set pieces are our strong, strong uh, um, asset, if I can <laughs> call it like that this season. We have, uh, we have faith in this uh, set pieces. Alright, after City, we won 4-1 away at Universidad Cluj in the cup. Strong win against Vitorul Cluj with the backups. 2-1 win at home against uh, Fece Sebe. Another win in Champions League, uh, this time over Sporting. 2-1 at home and we have 6 points um currently after this game 2 nothing at sepsi in liga 1 or nothing against botoshan and uh we draw surprisingly 2-2 against aik in greece 
and if you look at when we scored the goals guys we scored in a 92nd minute and 93rd minute and we tied the game well it, it was a terrible performance by our team a uh, two nothing uh, everyone was uh, tired everyone uh, had uh, 6.2 6.3 6.4 ratings i didn't understand why because at that time we didn't have any issue in our dynamics so um i was surprised honestly and then uh, again our quality um came true and we tied the game we stole a point because that's a steal honestly that is a steal 0-0 zero, zero at Chese Astiawa. We continue a slow form here with another draw in Liga 1. Nice to see no reds in the schedule. Yes, yes. Definitely, man. You are right. Uh, if we remember uh, in the beginning of this save, um, yeah, we had some, some rough, uh, rough seasons. Um, rough losses also. But this is how you grow, you know. This is how you improve the team by uh, going through this kind of games and losses and struggles and here we are right now season number 23 november 2044 guys uh we lost one nothing at faru uh no <laughs> we won at home against faru constanza and so far we didn't lose any game this season but we always we always 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 lose at least one game per season no matter if it's liga one or champions league we can never finish a season undefeated and we can never finish a season undefeated, even in Liga 1. So, uh, mainly, mainly it's because either we get a red card and, you know, uh, we lose that game or we, you know, we get two red cards or um, I play the backups and then um, it happens that they're going to have a slow game and we lose the game. This is, this is how we drop points usually uh, lately. 4-3. Uh, win in champions league over southampton another 4-3 win and this one was a, a you know a very very uh, entertaining game to watch a southampton surprisingly in champions league let's see the goals so we scored or they scored early let's see because i totally forgot guys no we scored through a uh, big mistake in their defense vulcek one nothing in the seventh minute and then they tied immediately. Yep. Corner kick and Kairns or Cairns scores the equalizer 1 1. And then 40th minute, we'll check here. Passes to Lopez and Lopez again. Decisive, decisive player for us. 19 years old, Mexican international. 2 uh, 1. And then 2 2, I think. Nope, another <laughs> another defensive mistake from Southampton. This time is the goalie and Hanus 3-1. Yep, 3-2. Southampton makes a comeback here. 54th minute, beautiful cross for Vidoli. 3-2. Mureshan didn't uh, didn't get the ball there. He should have. And Ravnic threw a penalty. 4-2. 66 minutes and then uh, they score in the 80th minute 4-3 and i was concerned at this point because um they were pressuring us another defensive mistake for us um lack of communication between defenders and the goalie in the end we got all three points and uh so far we're looking great in champions league the last game i played uh, on my own it was uh, a win away at Dinamo 4-1. Let's see the league standings in Champions League first. We're second right now. Uh, tied on points with Liverpool. Definitely right now we are not concerned about qualifying to the round of 16 anymore. Uh, we always qualify straight to the round of 16. And this season, guys, we didn't play the uh, playoff in Champions League. The qualifying playoff. We went straight to the league phase avoided uh, some other shenanigans right now as you see guys uh, we're very close very tight with liverpool and salzburg we still have four more games to play from the league phase uh, but my mind is already at uh, the run of 16 and the quarterfinals and why not hopefully this season for the first time in our history can we uh, qualify to semi-finals let's see in liga one 
as always first uh this is boring as um, as you already know dominating this competition since 13 seasons ago so this should be the 13th title in a row that we're gonna win we have uh none yeah nine points in front of faro constanza with one game in hand so yeah very healthy advantage over our uh, rivals going back to the schedule right now uh, we're gonna have a two hour and a half stream we're gonna probably go even um over two hours and a half we'll see but uh today i'm not pressured by anything by time or uh any you know, any plans for for today so we'll, we'll, we can do two hours and a half three hours now you have a good time to win the champions league fm25 is delayed yes yes best murph sadly it is delayed i was um <laughs> I don't know how to say I was excited I was excited actually to to play the new game but in the same time I don't want to quit the save until we win the Champions League so in my mind was okay so we don't win the Champions League until FM25 comes out then we transfer the save to the new game and then continue there but it's not the case anymore right now it's just um, probably giving us a lot of time to even start the new save with uh, with Lubeck and probably that save will transfer it to to FN25. We'll see, but um, it is what it is. A lot of uh, big channels, a lot of uh, football manager content creators are bummed down about this news. I'm not. I don't care. But uh, probably they had new ideas with the new games, new saves ideas, new content that they wanted to push out, and right now that is delayed. So it is what it is um everyone was excited about the new 3d um, 3d match engine and all that uh it's not an easy transition uh, as, as we can see guys uh, you know uh, it takes them more than one year to to make that move from uh, this game engine and the new one uh, that it's gonna be heavily improved because they did not have show any picture of the match engine and no better i was thinking something was going on yes everybody was thinking the same thing me too like because they usually release some footage you know some updates uh, about the in-game experience and all that but uh, yeah this year nothing so what can you do all right guys we have an exciting stream today uh, we have petrolul uh, away we have universitatea craiova away and the highlight of today's stream is tottenham away in champions league game five we're gonna come back with rapid at petrolibardi and if we have time probably we will probably we won't we can play the fifth game which is uh fecesb in the romanian cup quarterfinal but i'm not gonna promise that because we still have to um, do some scouting, some searching, player searching, and um, that's going to delay more things. But four games I think we can do today. And I'm excited to show you who is going to join us in the winter, guys. Uh, we are talking with one more elite player right now. We are actually... He is waiting for our confirmation because we didn't have enough wage money uh, in our um, wage budget. But I asked the board to make some funds available and right now uh in a few days we're gonna confirm the signing of jamie jones 166 current ability english international with 53 caps and one goal scored for the national team uh he decided to leave leeds united because he wants to play at a higher level he was um, transfer listed by request of course we didn't pay 91 million of course not i think it's a good call for them to delay it and instead of pushing it out with a lot of bugs yes yes me too man um i'd rather wait even uh i'd rather we even wait for next november let me just be clear i want to have a very good experience with uh, football manager i don't want to play the game and always uh have uh, this concern in in the back of my mind like oh what if i'm if what if my game will crash in in the next uh, uh few continues you know and when i press click something might might happen my save will get corrupted all my time that i put in, in into the saves 
are gonna get are, are gonna be um, wasted so no better to just like do it right you know release it whenever you feel confident and then let's just move on with uh with our our thing this is this is my uh my take on it yeah so jamie jones guys um we are gonna pay for this guy if it's gonna go through 38 million straight cash 60 million in bonuses and 11 million uh per year but he is elite guys in his prime one of the best central defenders i can sign at this point for for the team we don't have very um i mean we do have players with this uh current ability one 160 over 160 but defenders we have um only zekic and i'm thinking to play zekic and this guy uh in our uh, uh defense the starters and then uh probably ratari it's gonna he's gonna be the backups for these two guys but yeah a lot of experience for uh for uh uh, Jamie Jones and let's see he was a starter definitely a starter for them and Leeds United um are they uh they're seventh in the Premier League so hmm, it's weird how he decided to leave probably he, he really wants to play at a, at a higher level um don't don't worry guys because we are planning right this signings uh, i'm not breaking the bank yes we uh we signed another one another elite player very expensive but we are selling guys we're selling more than we are buying and uh, if you remember we sold uh, last season we sold edson this season we sold maroja in a total of 180 more than 180 almost 200 million on two players so that's why we're trying to improve the team in a smart way and um, not damage too much our budget the next guy that we already confirmed and it's uh, it's uh, signed Jimmy Thiebo I know he is a natural at left back but we are actually gonna use him as a right back 162 current ability only 20 years old wonder kid from Liverpool we paid for him exactly what you see here 46 million He's worth it. Very strong left foot, fairly strong right foot. I know he is not natural on the right, but because on the left we have Emeka Henry, who is an absolute beast. This guy will come on the right side, and this is how we are going to transform our squad into a Champions League winning squad. This guy is by far the best right back we will have in our squad, and he looks great for the future too. With 16 work rate, 18 positioning, 16 bravery, 18 agility, 17 balance, 16 acceleration, 14 pace. This uh, 14 tackling and 14 marking definitely will improve. Technique also will improve. He's so young. And one cap for France. We paid, as you can see guys, like I said, 46 million. He will join us January 17, 2045. And also, uh, we have more players here. Um, I I was showing you last time that I want to sign this Romanian wonder kid slash hardworking midfielder. Mugurel Matej from Rapid. 125 current ability with huge potential. Maybe the attributes are not exciting right now, but the future looks bright. Four stars and a half. 18 years old. He's going to help us with a registration rule on top of his quality. And that's why, guys, uh, for 4 million, it was a no-brainer. We had to. We had to do it. 125 current ability, 17 stamina, 17 work rate, 16 anticipation. Like I said, he's not looking great right now, but with playing time, definitely he will uh, improve. And, guys, uh, we had to. We had to do this one too. Luis Saavedra, last year of his career... He was available. He was um, in his few last few months with uh, Universidad de Chile, and um, the best way to end your career is to come back uh, at Jule, where you are a legend. If you remember, guys, Luis Saavedra is one of the greats. Um, he was with us for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve seasons. 
he scored a record breaking uh, goal numbers and he is also Romanian 78 caps for Chile I don't know how many games he played for us but definitely he uh, he played uh, probably more than two three hundred games so yeah natural on three positions striker behind the striker and on the wing definitely he will be playing behind the striker as a deep deep backup we gave them only one year deal just to uh, make him retire at Jiul and what a legend Luis Saavedra he scored a lot of goals man um 25 34 53 61 65 85 88 95 104 <laughs> and 113 goals at Jiul what a legend what a legend all right let's see how we are looking in our finances we're gonna drop here from 209 million because uh, you know we have two elite players joining so that's gonna be probably close to 100 million 110 million this is gonna drop and then also our wages are gonna go up um to 199 million um we are trying to sell also we're trying to sell three players guys we're trying to sell Pedersen in this uh, winter transfer window I know I know he's still great but he's 28 very close to 29 and he's a backup guys we cannot afford this guy to sit on the bench because next year or in two years we're not gonna get anything for this guy so let's sell him right now in the winter hopefully for for a good price and then uh, move on um who else we're, we're trying to sell luca calcani also for hopefully a good price he is great he is awesome but he is a backup again uh, we have a very very big team right now and we have to trim it so luca calcani in the winter hopefully he's gonna leave and also we are trying to sell uh yahaya because we have our new right back from Liverpool joining and he will be the third right back in our squad. Sunday Ahaya, bright future also for this kid. We got him from Braun Bergen, uh, but he's not getting playing time. Even in Liga 1, we're going to struggle to give him playing time. So I don't want him to go to waste. Basically, if we get 25 to 30 million, it will be a decent price. We got him for just 3.5 million. So yeah. Three players that we hope we're going to get enough money to cover the losses for the elite players that are going to join us. And I told you guys I'm going to give a face to Lopez. So Francisco Javier Lopez is the new inside forward that we just signed at the end of last stream. Wonder Kid, a Mexican international with one cap and two goals already scored. Uh, he, he agreed on fringe player playing time, but he's a star player right now for us. And I'm okay with uh, him accepting this playing time because I don't want him to uh, start complaining when we're going to try to rest him or not play him uh, from the beginning of the games in Liga 1. In Champions League, definitely when he's fit, he's going to start. Um, 2.54 million per season on a 5 years deal. 17 dribbling, 16 first touch, 15 passing, 16 natural uh 15 uh six, no i'm sorry 16 pace 17 balance 17 agility 17 acceleration 17 determination 15 anticipation below average injury proneness everything is great with this guy 135 current ability but i'm not concerned this will grow with playing time and um yeah we're looking almost almost ready uh for you know trying to win the the champions league Especially after those two elite uh, players will join us. Now the problem is what we're going to do with Ratsari. Ratsari is a starter and he's 150 current ability right now. He turns... Uh, he Probably in in um, in the near future he will become a monster. Like he is already awesome. In probably 4 or 5 months this will grow to 155, 656 and then... Yeah, my my idea with Ratsari is um, to actually try to pair him with um, the English guy, J with, uh, Jones. Uh, Jones, 
Let's see. Yep, Jamie Jones. And then move Zekic, guys. Move Zekic as a defensive midfielder. He can do it. With a little bit of training, he can do it. And Zekic will pair with... Um, uh, what's his face? We'll pair with Jose Luis. Yep, in the middle. And we're going to have two insane defensive midfielders in the middle. Our defense will look sharp. Already we have Hanus and Vulcek who are ch who are like elite, world class, whatever you want. Ravnic also, same thing. The only one that still needs to grow is the Mexican Lopez and that's it. We have a complete team. Haaland has 34 goals for Norway in 36 games. Yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't watch the game yesterday, but I, I uh, saw he scored a double. Him and Sorlot. Yeah, he is the greatest striker right now, man. And probably if he keeps it this way and he's not getting injured, he will become the best striker ever. I'm telling you. He is insane. Like, um, the best center forward, the best number nine in the world right now. And probably over time, the best in the history. I hope he's not going to get injured. You know, that's the only thing that could stop him from getting that. So. And if they win one more Champions League, maybe he can win the, the Ballon d'Or. The best player in the world. Him, Jude Bellingham, you know. Why not? All right, guys. So we have a great team, as uh, as uh, as you see here. Uh, Mecca Henry. Still, I cannot believe how cheap this guy was. One hundred sixty-three current ability, and he's only eighteen. And our scouting department is indicating that this guy could improve a lot. <laughs> so imagine, probably he's gonna get to one hundred eighty, one hundred ninety, if he's one sixty-three right now. The problem is, can we? keep him at the club i improved his uh his wages after one year i gave him a new deal i gave him a new deal he's making 10 million right now per season so as you can see guys we are starting to become a continental level club still we have national reputation it's it's crazy it's beyond me how we're still at national reputation let's press continue I think we're going to jump right in. Yep, with Petrolul. I'm going to check the training levels just before um, Champions League games. I think before Liga 1 games, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It's The games are way too easy. Even with a poor morale, we're going to win games. So yeah, I'm going to use the starters. Stelagia has to start because he's under 21 and we need to have an under 21 player. All the time in Liga 1. You already know that. Um, and because... Let's see. Because... Um, we don't have any Champions League game for the next two weeks. Yeah. Uh, we're going to play the starters. And then Universidad Craiova will be the game where we use our backups. So yeah, let's, uh, let's give our starting team another... Chance to impress, win the three points, even though few players are tired. Few players are tired. Eventually, they will get subbed second half. Did you have time to play football manager lately, Besmurf? How was your bronze save? Not much. Yeah, you already won the Champions League. I totally understand, man, because you lose interest, you know. After you win everything, usually what I do is I start something else. Right now, we need to make sure our players will not get injured and we have 
our best squad available at all times for the Champions League games. This is the, the best thing to do. Uh, might be an offside here. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. When uh, the right back from Liverpool, Thiebo, will join, Koledic will be the backup. Imagine having a world-class right back backup. That's how good we got over the years, guys. And I'm curious to see if the tweaks that we made in our tactic in the beginning of the season will count when we play in Champions League at... Uh, uh, when we're gonna play in the round of 16, when we're gonna play in the quarterfinals, those tweaks uh, are gonna matter. There's been much uh, other stuff going on, so don't have the energy to play the last couple of weeks. Oh yeah, of course, man. Let's not forget football managers, just, you know, just a game and it's, uh, just something to get your mind out of real life, you know. And Henry almost scored, putting pressure here on Petrolul after 16 minutes. Stelaja, corner kick from the right side, Zekic, header goes over the bar. Let me double check if our connection is stable. So far it, it is. Yoon. For Henry. Zekic. We're very patient. Almost too patient to score the first goal. Vulcek, Hanus, Koledic, inside the box, and a good save by uh, Petrol goalkeeper Koetle. Selaja, another corner kick, let's see here. Finally, 1 0. Milorad Zekic, first attempt was blocked with, his, um, with a header. And then from the rebound, he scored. The ball came back to him. In Liga 1, we don't have a real challenger. It's always way too boring, way too easy. But it is what it is. We have to sit through these games. Shand FH, thank you for joining. Thank you for following the channel. Selagia. And for Jose Luis. Koladic again. Interesting pass there, but... Nothing comes out of it. Another corner kick. Blocked shot after block shots. Zekic scores a lot of goals through headers from this position. Always goes on the on the 6-yard box and tries to score with surprising headers. Emeka Henry. The one major difference between the tactic from this season and the one from last year is that the we we have a like slower pace like our intensity is way way lower yeah 
Yoon, Henry again, Louise, Zekic. Ratsari, Koledic, and counterattack Petrol, or not? It's still us. Ravnic, Koledic. Ha! And another change I made in the tactic is that right now we're just doing the low crosses. And not mixed crosses anymore, or not whipped crosses. I used to use the... Um, I used to use... I, we used to have whip, whipped crosses. Now it's just low, on the ground. And actually, this is better. Because if you have short strikers, they can score a lot of goals this way. But if you have just tall strikers, then... Yeah, it's uh, it's tough. For a tall striker to be agile, it's 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 very very difficult. Koladic throw in for Vulcek. Come on, let's score one more. Seladja, not a bad shot. Only one goal and eighteen shots, seven on target. Zekic 8.1 rating. We should start playing Zekic as a DM from now on. Just to get him ready for his new role. Uh, and I will do that right now. I just want to see him playing in that position. Let's see how he performs. So Zekic, DM and Jun. Back to the central defender role. And let's play... Um, maybe Medic. Second half. Or not. Let's wait 10-15 minutes. Both our defensive midfielders right now are tall, strong, very technical, very intelligent, both elite. Able to dictate the tempo. Imagine having two Rodriguez in your team playing at the same time not a bad idea because when I'm thinking about Rodri from Manchester United I'm thinking about more like a defensive midfielder defensive minded midfielder Zekic, Hanus, oh, ho, ho, ho. almost a wonder goal, too bad he hit the top post. Jose Luis and Zekic, both of them with great rating, 7.1 and We're going to travel to London to play Tottenham. We're expecting to get at least a point there and stay undefeated. Vulcek, deflected shot and another goal for the Czech wonder kid. It's actually um, just an own goal, but still. Great shot by Vulcek. And 2 nothing after 53rd minute. Yeah. In 5 minutes we'll make more subs.
Idrisi. With a long pass, I thought he's an offside. Building from the back with Jun. Jose Luis. Vulcek. Selagia. Which is on the left to Ravnic. Ravnic. <laughs> With a low cross. The rebound went to Vulcek and Vulcek takes a bad shot. Actually, it was a block shot. And we win another corner. <laughs> how many how many chances we had and this goalie blocked so many so many crazy shots or headers. Pelagia Jose Luis. Yeah, definitely these set pieces are unbelievable. Every single time, even if we don't score, but we have a huge chance to score at every corner kick, so. We're putting a lot of pressure on our opponents constantly. And you better believe this is the tactic that we'll use even uh, at Lubeck. I don't care what players we have there. We're going to mold the team into this tactic. Usually you don't do that, but because this tactic is so great. We will uh, continue using it. Vulcek in the box. Elagia! <laughs> Post! I think we hit the post at least two or three times since we started. Thirty shots, thirty one shots. All right, let's make subs, guys. We have a ton of players. Very tired. So, let's do Medic for, for June. Pedersen for Vulcek. Ojeda for Ravnic. Dedu for Hanus. And Lopez for Selagia. That's it. Ojeda inside the box. And another corner kick. <clears throat> Jose Luis. Corner kick from the left side. Lopez for Razzari. Lopez. Block shot. And two minutes since he joined the game and he already scored Lopez from the same way we usually score every game. Low crosses and tap-ins by our strikers. Look at that. Signature move. This is how we scored probably 70% of our goals. Zekic or Medic.
Jose Luis. Lopez for Kolodic. The game is over, it's just probably, um, yep, 4 nothing. We were wondering how many goals can we score, well we scored 4 and plenty of time to score the 5th, not necessarily, but Beautiful pass to Pedersen here and the same goal as always, tap-ins. Emeka Henry passes it back. To the goalie and now Ratsari for Zekic, Zekic to Pedersen, Pedersen on the left. For Ojeda and one on one chance, too bad he was an offside. Zekic, Luis and Henry are very tired, Kolic also tired. Luis free kick from the right side inside a penalty box they're trying to clear the danger now Lopez to Emeka Henry three minutes left Razzari Jose Luis again to Zekic Zekic good pass to Dedu Kind of a selfish uh, way to finish this sh this chance. And now Petrol with a free kick from the left side. One of the few chances they had this uh, this game. Murashan, our legendary goalkeeper. We signed him from uh, Dinamo Bucharest for only 1.5 million as a backup goalie and he improved so quickly and became our number one goalkeeper very 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 quickly since he joined you know after he joined my reasoning for signing him was because we needed uh, an under 21 player in our squad and I didn't know he has a hidden potential because when we signed him his attributes weren't great at all but in no time he started to improve like really really drastically you know like a lot and that made me use him as a starting goalie and that's probably over 10 seasons ago all right we won all three points for nothing at Petrolo, guys. Um, very happy with the result and you, the way you played. We have to praise the goal scorer. Milorad Zekic. Yeah, this guy's an unbelievable player. You are superb. And let's use him as a defensive mid midfielder from now on. Support. He needs a rest though. Lopez also on the score sheet. Dedu. Whatever, man. 
trying to praise you and you give me attitude uh, and who else scored we have Zekic oh and an own goal okay forgot about that one let's do the press conference really really quick and now uh, I think we have to move We have to move somebody back to the central defender position. And yeah, that's uh That's Yoon. That is Yoon. Medic will continue to be defensive midfielder, but he will be a backup from now on. Because Zekic and Jose Luis are the starters and this guy Jamie Jones is a left footed yep left footed perfect okay gonna be so good Kolodic 136 current ability yep he's uh, not improving as fast as I uh, I thought so that's why we need to uh, give Tia ball the spot here as a starter and um, we'll wait on the college to improve whenever he's gonna reach 160 or if he's gonna surpass Thiebo in skills then he will win back his um, his spot in the starting lineup until then we will uh, continue trying to improve the team all right uh well, yep, and Diego Duarte. I'm thinking in the winter we're gonna loan this uh, this kid. He has a high potential and um, he is a foreigner. So if we sign Jamie Jones, we're gonna have five foreign players in the squad, and one of them has to be removed from the list. And this guy is who I'm thinking. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna loan him out, and um, we're gonna try to find a team where he will be a starter because he has, like I said, he has a high potential, and um, maybe in one year he will be back with better numbers. He looks very promising. He scored he scored already two goals in three games in Liga One as a backup, and he scored also in Europe, one goal in Champions League. So. We're gonna keep an eye on him. Alright, so Zekic, DM, and Luis. Um, a month and a half. That's how much we have to wait. How long we have to wait for the new elite players to join. In one or two days, we're gonna. We delayed. Um, Confirming it because we didn't have enough wage money like I said in the beginning of the stream I asked the chairman to to make some more funds available and uh, right now <laughs> We have over 200 million on salaries <clears throat> available So, we will continue to start Ratsari, guys. As a central defender. We're not going to bench him. I believe in his potential. How many caps he has for Italy? Let's check. Only one cap, okay. But his numbers are insane. All right, let's line up the backups for the next game. Lopez. Uh, Judah needs to be on the bench. Yahaya Kalkani. 
Kırstich. Yahaya for Kolodic. For Jose Luis, we do not have anybody. For Hanus, we have Duarte. Yeah, a lot of players are on international duty. So I guess we have to give uh, Jose Luis playing time. And I'm surprised he is not a starter for Brazil. I'm just very, very surprised. Wanted by Al Nasser. Yeah. He's making 17.8 million for the next 3.7 years. But they will be back, guys. The players will be back from international duty by the time we play Craiova. Eight days. The best 50 players in the world. Hodemacher and uh, Comes, of course. Hodemacher on the fifth. And Comes on the 6th. Ames on the 7th. So we have three players in the top 10 that uh, actually played for Gilles Petrochen. Ames 27 now. And 187 current ability. God. Let's see Comes. 188 current ability at only 24 years old. Oh my god. Worth 266 million. And Hodemacher, 31 years old, 189 current ability. Monsters. And Jones will join us in January. Officially, we confirmed it. Jamie Jones. I think he is the second. English player in our history. He has a ton of experience though. I don't think he will improve. But I don't care. If he's gonna stay this guy until you know we finish the save, I'm okay with that. Strength 16. I need this. I need our central defenders to like be powerful. Agility 15. That is insane. 185. I'm surprised he doesn't play other positions. I'm surprised he's not able to play defensive midfielder too with his numbers. He's like a rock. Like, man, this guy is so strong. Position is 16. Anticipation 16. is very good. Selaja is improving every single day. 18. We have some interesting Romanian players for the future. 
Okay, so we're gonna struggle to to sell for sure. Now Patterson, let's re, re like try again for let's say fifty two million. No offers for Kalkani. Uh, 48. Or let's do 45. Let's be nice. 45. We need to cover. We need to get at least 60 million back. Joaquin Castillo, who is this guy? 29? I don't even want to look at him. Too old. He deserves to play for Romania, definitely. Dedu, whenever he gets in, as a backup, he scores. And I don't think Romania has a better striker right now. We're going to have streams... Today, tomorrow, and Sunday, guys. I will be home. We will advance. I hope by Sunday we can get closer to the end of the season. Because uh, on my own, I will play today, tomorrow, and also Sunday. We're trying to speed up the process and um, get to the next save on this channel. Everything will be posted on YouTube if you want to watch, rewatch. few more days and uh, our players will come back from the international duty we'll uh, get the three points hopefully against Craiova and then focus on Tottenham very crucial game against uh, the English team because with another win in Champions League we're gonna make it official most likely we will uh, qualify straight to the round of 16 Avoiding the knockout playoff. I remember from the Tenerife save. Um, we won the Champions League with almost all the players very close to 170 or over 170 current ability. So I know we're not there yet, but who knows? Maybe this tactic is so good that it's going to push us quicker in winning the trophy. It was a fun save, uh, the one uh, in Spain with Tenerife. I really enjoyed it. Especially because it lasted only 11 seasons compared to 23 right now with Jules. I'm thinking uh, Lubeck save will last around that also. Even though we're going to start from the third league in Germany. Having more resources being... Uh, a club playing in a developed country like Germany, top five uh, leagues in the, in the in the world, in my opinion, uh, this is gonna get easier and easier with each year, and eventually, once you promote to Bundesliga, that's gonna be a cruise control. But I'm um, 
I'm very excited to, to coach again in Germany. I had a fun experience in FM17 with 1860, no, FM16 with 1860 Munchen. So yeah. More scout reports here. Eric Company. Terrific signing for 46 million fullback from AZ Alkmar. Yeah. Too bad. <laughs> I mean, he is good, but not better than Tiebo for sure. Javier. And now he's interested. Now he is interested. Look at this guy. When I wanted to sign him, he wasn't interested, and now he is. Thank you, man. I would have. I would have signed him. We had the money. Inside forward. He can do it on the left. Fairly strong right foot. He can definitely do it. Too late, man. Too late. Goikoeche are not interested. Ben Lulu not interested. Mamut too old and not interested. And Giovanni too old. Same thing, not interested. These players, they used to be wonder kids in our save because that's why we get the scout report from uh, the recruitment department. They were 18, 19. I put them on the short list and now they're 33, 34. Man, we went so deep with the save. Judah Delorm, he is improving every single day. Everyone is improving. Every single player. Duarte. Yeah, we will loan this guy. I don't want to sell him yet. We will loan him when the time comes. If we win the Champions League with Gio, we're going to have to pay some of our players huge, huge fees. Like, we have to pay them bonuses in the probably in the 50 or 60 million dollars altogether. We have some players that uh, they uh, agreed to join us only on huge bonuses and uh, yeah. My uh, idea is uh, after we win the Champions League, before we quit the save, I want to sell everyone and see exactly how much money I can generate. Hopefully we can leave the club and um, um, give our chairman over a billion, over a billion dollars. And he's gonna deal with hiring a new coach and <laughs> you name it. That's the idea. No offers for Pedersen. Come on. 48. Come on, somebody. It's 152 current ability. We got 70 million for Edson at the same current ability. So don't give me that. If we um, don't get anything up, and up until 35 million, we lower it to 35. And if we don't get any offers, then we're going to wait until the actual transfer window will open. And then uh, start all over again. From 60 million down to 58, 55. Eventually, somebody will uh, will pay some decent money for for him. He looks great, and also for Kalkani. With these numbers and at this age, at 22 and 146 current ability, yeah, 45 is minimum. It should be minimum, but yeah. 
We should actually stop offering them until January, I guess. All right, one more day and we're playing Craiova away. Let's see how many players are fit. They are back, but are they fit though? Because even uh, our backups uh, play for inter for their for their national squads. This is how good we are. Everyone is on international duty. Let's see. Yeah, we're good. Our backups are fit. We don't need to put Deru. Actually, should we put Deru on the... Yeah, let's put Deru in. Because if we're loaning Diego Duarte, I'm not interested in giving him a ton of playing time. He will get enough playing time when he joins uh, his new team, so... And we will loan him to a team, probably a low-level team, just for him to be the best player in that squad, just to get playing time maximum playing time i'm gonna make sure he will get that uh wow 165 current ability for petr Vulcek. man this guy will will become even better than comes i think we gave him also 10.65 million per season but i have um I have my fears about this guy. I think if you're gonna improve this much, this fast, uh, we're not gonna be able to keep him anymore. That's why I try to give him a new deal every six months. Give him a new contract every six months. Once I see teams are interested again, that he's wanted, boom, I give him a new contract because that's how he gets upset and then he's gonna start to reject every time when we're trying to give him a new deal because he's gonna say oh teams are interested i want to go and play for um at a different level at a higher level gunther let's see this guy 20 years old on loan i'm gonna consider signing this guy on loan if we sell Pedersen, because Pedersen is the backup for Vulcek. So if uh, if we sell Pedersen, then this kid can be the backup to, to Vulcek. At least for the rest of the season. So let's add him on the short list. Uh, for one year. All right, we are there almost. Let's double check the lineup. So Mureshan, Kalkani, Jun, Delorme, Yahaya, Kirstic, Jose Luis, Ojeda, Pedersen, Selaja, and Dedu. Um. Oh, Lenny Medic. Nope. Actually, we're gonna give Jose Luis. A break. So Lenny Medic is gonna start, and Matei back from his injury. But Jose Luis has to be on the bench, though. Ratsari and Dobrai on the bench also. Dobrai, 110 current ability. Deep, deep backup. All right, guys. This is the second game for today. A must win. 
already in <clears throat> one hour and 20 minutes into the stream and let's double check first of all our connection it looks we're we're stable Beautiful Jon Oblemenko Stadium. This is what we need, guys. We need a huge stadium. Like this one. And then uh, our mission is complete. Of course, combining with winning the Champions League. Yoon already with a yellow card. Yeah, Yoon is struggling. I'm gonna send a message in the meantime, guys. One nothing for Krajowa, but it's an offside. Penalty. Patterson. One nothing, guys. Penalty kick, fourth goal of the season. now we don't want a red card very aggressive Ojeda uh, is this copyright yep uh, that is a copyrighted
June passing to Ojeda. Long distance shot. I kind of hate those. At halftime, uh, it looks like we're going to have to uh, change or sub Yoon. <clears throat> Kalkani struggling also with a 6.5 rating. And huge chance. Corner kick, big save by the goalie. Ojeda. Oh. He sent that through the roof. Yep, Kalkani and Yoon. We're going to sub them both. Yeah, things are going well, but you're capable of even better. All right, let's do Dobrai for Kalkani and uh, Zekic for Jun for now. Good tackle by Medic. It's pouring rain. Marian Dedu 6.5. Uh, we will have to sub him too very soon. Around 60th minute. Pedersen, Ojeda. He's waiting for too long. Krajova is desperately trying to clear the danger. They don't have the strength to counter and create us problems. Let's see. Pedersen, Pedersen, very good run. And one on one chance. Not a good finisher. Zelaja. Not a corner from the left. Zekic. Yes. That's what he does. Another goal from a set piece. Do nothing. Selaja, free kick from the left. Another save by Roner. Patterson. Ojeda. All right, I think it's time to take out Dedu. Um, 
Hanus for Dedu. Uh, who else? Lopez for Selagia. And... I think that's it for now. Can we score one more? We should. Clear stitch for Ojeda. Ojeda is looking to cross the ball. Passing to Dobrai. Not a bad cross by the kid. By the 17 years old Dobrai. Ten minutes left from the regular time. Delorm. Medic. Yahaya Yahaya, interesting cross for Hanus Mistake by Roner, but Hanus cannot score Decent header, it just goes over, hits the post Alright, four minutes of extra time Probably we could have scored more goals, but due to this freaking crazy weather, um, this game will be uh, over with just uh, two goals advantage over Krajowa. And uh, we use also the backups, so yeah, usually we score at least four or five goals per game. Well done, boys. And now our focus is for the next game in Champions League. I'm going to travel to England. Let's uh, praise Pedersen. Also Milorad Zekic. Twenty-seven games in a row without losing. Yep, we are we are selling Pedersen. I'm open to discussions. Yep. Of course for the right price though.
can we win against Spurs on their own turf? We're going to use a balanced mentality. We're not going to attack from the beginning. I will try to fill out the game. And let's see how the team reacts with the new instructions. Versus world class teams. We cannot judge this tactic uh, when we play Liga 1 games. Because you win those games with every tactic. Any tactic. When we play at home against the Manchester City, we use also a balanced mentality for the whole game. So I guess when we play against bigger clubs, always keep it at balanced. Yeah, in three days, we are clashing with Spurs. We're going to play also Rapid today, guys. And I don't think we will do one more game after that. It's a slow stream today. Um, but definitely, we will come back tomorrow. Same time with another stream and also Sunday, guys. Three streams in a row. To make up for the days that we didn't stream this week and to try to speed up the process in winning the Champions League as soon as possible. Depending on how tired our starting team will be, then we will make some uh, changes in the starting lineup against Rapid. Let's see. For Spurs and Rapid, we'll do Wednesday and Sunday. And for... Yeah. For uh, Fechesebe and Chefre Cluj, it's already set up in our training schedules. Let's line up the starters. Yeah, so even though we are trying to play Medic as a defensive midfielder, the best idea is to use the same team, the same squad as we uh, started with the season in Champions League. For the Liga 1 games it doesn't matter. But in Champions League I don't want to change anything yet. We will do all those changes when the new players are going to join in January. Now let's press continue and see exactly. You know. Um, how many players will be fit before we start the game. It says Medic is at uh 83% so yeah then we can play with Kurstic and then Kurstic is uh tired too hmm. Tomasini not interested Anis Yavorovic, yeah, yeah, not interested. 
he's great 23 years old creation too many of these too many <laughs> right backs and he's uh, kind of expensive on top of that Ames very interested but hell no he's not gonna join us mm, this guy not interested too old mm, not interested too old even though he's great yeah and he's not he is not interested in joining us Jean Carlos Come on. Nobody's offering for Pedersen. Seriously? 45? Very sunny day. Ah, too bad it's not that warm anymore. Starting to get chilly here. Mid October almost. Um, Medic 88, come on If you are at 90 We should be fine And I'm thinking in January We can sell Ojeda too Close to full potential yeah, maybe we can get some decent cash for him. We paid seven, seven million to Boca Juniors. Almost four years ago. And we'll check the training levels before we start the game. Francisco Javier Lopez is improving a lot. Exactly what I wanted to hear. How much money did we pay for you? 9 million. I love this kind of deals. Very cheap and potentially to become a world class player. That's why you have to wait and wait and wait until you find the right player. Because um, our stature in the game. It's still national. We cannot afford to pay crazy money on players only if we find elite. And even then, um, it's a stretch. So we have to cover the losses eventually. Everything has to be calculated. And what about the Ahaya? Because I offered the Ahaya too. He needs to be on the bench. Delorme, Calcani, Thomas Yoon, Kieran Jones. Yeah. Almost there, one more day. And we clash against one of the best teams in Premier League.
Cosmin Grigore. Four more inside forward on the left for Jules. We sold him for 32 million to young boys. He's 23. And they're selling him for 24 million. So what if what if we sign him back and we sell Ojeda? I'm thinking it's just an idea for the winter. If we sell Ojeda for around 40 million, I think we can get 40 million and sign this guy as a replacement for 24, we make profit. And we improve a little bit, a little bit. And not only that, but we have a homegrown player back in the squad. And you know me, I love players with high uh, crossing. Like uh, the stats should be between 14 and 17, 18 with uh, the, the kind of uh, tactic I use. So yeah, either for fullbacks or wingers, I need this number to be high. Anyways. The stronger the bench you have um, in Champions League, because uh, you are going to encounter injuries and suspensions, the better. If you have a good bench, you have high chances to win the trophy. Rafael Fassi, who is this guy? Ah, goalie. Or Plymouth, Mexican also. A double nationality and of course our future right back Jimmy Thiebaud right, let's check the training levels They are putting the work in, which is good. We're going to also check the additional training. All right. Final third. Endurance. Okay. Dynamics. We have four issues. Kalkani. Asking price too high. Sunday Ahaya. Same thing. Kieran Jones. Unhappy with the amount of playing time. Well, your deep backup. And also Pedersen. Asking price too high. Excellent locker room atmosphere. And we're ready to clash against Sutterham, guys. Um, Mureshan, Henry, Zekic, Ratsari, Koledic, Medic, Jose Luis, Ravnic, Vulcek, Lopez, and Hanus. 
We are ready. Have we been on a good run lately? A little bit of uh, confidence, extra confidence given by the uh, given to the players by the by the coach. Let's uh, change to balance mentality. There you go, and that's that. Tunnel interview. They have an uh, old team, from what I remember, so I have uh, confidence we're gonna get something from this game. If we don't get injuries or if we're not getting a red card, we should at least win a point here. They're trying to build from the back. Jelavic, this is a world-class elite, actually, uh, central defender. But he's old, though. He's 33 or 34. We used to scout him a lot when he was just 17, 18. Easy, easy. We don't want to make any mistakes. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We're struggling to get out of our own defense here. And uh, it looks like we made a mistake. Quick uh, counterattack for Spurs. And one nothing. Yep. At this level, you can't make these mistakes. We try to do the same thing. We try to get out of our defense by passing and, you know, taking our time. But... Um... We were on, under a lot of pressure and we made a mistake. We gave them the ball, gave away the possession. Razzari here cannot win the ball inside our penalty box. And yep, too easy. All right, let's encourage the team. Not the best start though. And make a Henry yellow card. Come on, just tackle. We are struggling. We should start attacking after this chance if we survive. Karanovic! 2 nothing, And we didn't survive. It's 2 nothing right now. Nothing to lose. Let's attack. After 12 minutes... Come on, boys. Imureshan. Can't do anything. He, he took a great shot. And now we have to prove everyone that we're strong. Vulcek. Good pass to Lopez! Oh, Lopez! You gotta score those, you gotta score those.
Razzari 6-2, Kolodic 6-4, Lopez 6-4, uh, everyone. It's not our day. This might be the very first loss of the season, guys. In all competitions. Oh, man. If we score a goal before halftime, we're still in it. Wake up, boys. Wake up. <sighs> yeah, it's still them. We can't cope with the pressure. Post! My god. We're getting destroyed in London. Live on TV. What's happening? What is happening? God! Again, we look like a generic team, like a small team. How is this happening? We had only one chance. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go overload. I don't care anymore. We need to push. Two nothing, five nothing. There's no difference. Easy, easy. Just don't get red cards. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, they're way better than us. Oh my god. Survival. Barely. If it would have been 3 nothing at halftime, then yeah. Even now, it feels like we're going to get embarrassed. It feels like second half, they're going to start to pound on us. All right, halftime. Um, show me something else. Second half. Lopez, 6-2. We have Selaja. Let's change... Lopez with Salaja. Kind of the same skills, both of them. So that's it. No, no other changes. Let's start second half. Still very attacking. And still Spurs. Pounding on us. Let's see Smerda here. But Mureshan reads the cross. Safe hands. One of the worst games we played in a while. Definitely. Razzari. Jose Luis. Jose Luis. Don't lose the ball man. Decent pass to... Anus, ah, uh, don't tell me you're injured. Ravnic, pass it, pass it! And decides to shoot, blocked. And I think Hanus is injured. I just hope it's not a long term injury. Uh, no, we're good, we're good, we're safe. <laughs> Time is flying. The man more, come on. Let's score a goal now. Now is the right time to score a freaking goal. 
All right, Hanu South. 6-3. Um, let's do Dedu. Dedu. And for Ratsari, we will um, play with... Let's do Jose Luis as a central defender. Medic and Kurstic in the middle. And Medic 640, but I have no one else. I have no one else. Or we can actually do Jose Luis back and do Delorme. I like Delorme as a central defender. Yeah. Come on, guys. Just show a little bit of passion. No matter how many changes I make, it's still them. It's still freaking them. Okay, let's go back to balanced. It is what it is. There's no reason to attack anymore. It's just over. Three nothing. Embarrassment. Koledic giving <laughs> giving an assist here. Nice. And that's the story of this game. We got embarrassed, guys. One more sub. Let's take out Ravnic. Or actually, let's take out Henry, because he has a yellow card, too. We'll uh, put in Kalkani. We were never in the game. We can't complain. They were way better than us. Way better than us. Or nothing. Wow. Mureshan. Can't stop that. That is a lesson. Football lesson. Mureshan 6 3. Everyone. It's like I made things even worse um, with um, doing the, the praising the training uh, ratings. Second shot of the game for us. Second real chance. <laughs> Unrecognizable. I don't understand how we played so bad. Four nothing. I'm getting concerned right now. Right now we're out of the top eight. 
out of the top eight. The nightmare is almost over, 88 minutes. And Spurs are not stopping, they want to score the fifth goal here. Counter attack for us. We'll check to Koledic on the right. Koledic for Selagia. Selagia looks for a cross. In losing possession, we get it back. We'll check inside the box again, and finally we score one. They do, but too late. Four one. Telaja <laughs> for two. Maybe I should have kept it on balance the whole game. Even scoring two goals, we were never we were never getting anything from this one. They were way better than us. We have to come back in Romania and lick our wounds. Full time Tottenham Gilles 4 2 in Champions League uh, game 5. I'm getting concerned here. Uh, I don't know what to tell the players. Uh, I am not happy with your performance. I just hope it's just one of those games. Uh, the game is over. I don't want to talk about it. Ah, I'm not going to praise anyone. Send the assistant. Very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. I'm going to play one more game today, guys. Rapid at home just to kind of brush off this loss and then come back tomorrow. Hopefully in a better position than today. I will continue on my own a few more hours. Uh, I'll try to scout more players and try to improve the team even some more for the second part of the season. Uh, I'm confident we will qualify straight to the round of 16. Selaja, although he played like shit last game, he is improving really, really fast. And the crossing is amazing. This player will be outstanding. He has an amazing career ahead of him. So, yep, we lost the very first game this season. At least let's try in Liga 1 to avoid 
losing. Let's let's do a whole season undefeated in at least in Liga One. We had high hopes, very high hopes for this one. The real tests are against this kind of teams. Maybe, like I said, it was one of those games where nothing works or we're still not ready. Two hours and 12 minutes into the stream. This one will take us over two hours and 30 minutes, which I was expecting. Very close to the summer, so for sure tomorrow when we start a stream, we will get near um, the second part of the season where we avoid sitting through the winter break, because I will advance it on my own and... Um, move forward alright Atanasuai or yeah Atanasuai for Jones um, we need to rest a bunch of players from the starting team but let's press continue and see exactly where they are on game time uh, Lucas who is this guy yeah. not good enough Man, I'm annoyed. I'm really annoyed. Yeah, sure. Best Smurf. No worries, man. I know you're here. You join whenever you can. Don't worry about it. Ah. Like I said, hopefully you'll feel better, man. We're taking on Rapid right now. They're fifth in Liga 1. Uh, a win here will make things look a little better. But still, we are very concerned for our chances uh, of winning the Champions League. After that performance, uh, after that display. Yeah. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, Ravnic for Ojeda, Vulcek with Pedersen, Milorad Zekic with Yun, and we need one under 21 player. I guess that's Selagia. The one good thing about uh, Lopez deal, again, I'm repeating, is that he accepted a fringe player role. So he's the happiest. Because he gets way more playing time than he expected. Although I consider him as a star player. He doesn't know that. <laughs> but yeah, that's a, that's a great situation to be in. And uh, Selagia will start most games in Liga 1. 18 years old. Um, they do for Duarte. Duarte will be loaned out very soon. All right. Last game of today's stream: Mureshan, Henry, Jun, Razari, Koledic, Medic, Jose, Luis, Ojeda, Pedersen, Selaja, and Hanus. We are resting Zekic, but if we decide to play him. Then uh, I will uh, sub him with Medic because we want him to learn as fast as he can the DM role. He's still on orange. 
for the second part of the season i want him to be on green here on dark green which uh will um show that he accomplished that position all right one more continue i guess we're not checking any training levels we're just good to go Ravnich, injury, damaged foot. Alright, not that bad, but still annoying. And uh, for those who don't know, Ravnich is a legend of the club. Like, he's actually, if we go to the club profile, he joined me in... Uh, being the legend of Jules Petrosheny. I was surprised that Saavedra is not on any of this list. Uh, he's not even a favorite personnel anymore. And even as an icon, Thomas and Hodemacher, Ravnich legend. But Saavedra will have the chance to retire at Jules. He is the first borderline wonder kid that we spotted in this save. And uh, at the time, we broke the bank for him. We actually paid 1.2 million or 1.3 million while being in the second league, I think. And uh, of course, of course, we used payments. Let me see if I'm right. So we got him in 2020. No, no, we were already for Liga 1. We were already Liga 1, guys. And if we go into... Hold on a second. The history. Uh, Super Liga, stages. Or no, schedule, sorry. Schedule. We can see here, probably when he joined us so this is this is the third season this is probably this is still liga 2 so we were two years in liga 2 two years in liga 2 in liga 1 i think the first season in liga 1 we had him i cannot see the whole starting 11 but i can see the goal scorers Tony loyu Voloschuk. I want to see when he joined. So 2025-26. I think 26-27. Second year in Liga 1. Yep. There you go. Second year in Liga 1. I thought I saw him scoring. Patrick Moses, come on, where are you? Seriously? I just saw him. Sorry guys, just one more second. I'm getting annoyed right now. Okay, one more time. 
he joined us in 2020 627 2026 2027 where is he because he should have been on the scoring list here really he didn't score any goals Come on. There you go, right here. So basically, he joined us in June 2027. Yep. Tabotau. Head of youth development. 37 years old. <clears throat> retired. Most of the players retired, guys. Maroha close to triggering claws. So his five appearances away from making 20 games play for middles, bro. And then after that, they're going to pay us 27 more million on top of the 81 that we already received from, uh, from them. So yeah, Lucas Maroha. 168 current ability right now. We had to we had to let him go. You can't get a better deal than that for sure. Our fans are demanding a strong win. Petre Libardi is always a tough, tough uh, stadium to play on, especially in Liga 1. Uh, 11 points. Seriously? Nobody's willing to offer more for this guy. Come on. Alright, game day. We are ready, let's double check again the starting lineup. So, it's Mureshan, Henry, Jun, Ratsari, Koladic, Medic, Jose Luis, Ojeda, Pedersen, Selaja and Hanus. <clears throat> Let's get the three points and finish for today. Ravnic is injured. We have to remove him with uh, Dobrai. Or with Yahaya, actually. Yeah. And as always, it's raining on Petra Libardi. Koladic yellow card. Ravnic 
Grazie Ari. Coleric. June also yellow card. Come on guys. <clears throat> Selaja from the left corner. Pedersen. Koladic. Emeka Henry. <laughs> It's harder to miss than to score from that position. Throw in Kolodic for Pedersen. Pedersen inside a box. Another poor shot. Pedersen got a knock. Need to sub him. Yep. Rule check. And Ojeda and Hanus, 6.5, 6.6. And Emeka Henry got a knock also. Ah, oh, man. Kalkani in. We're not playing well. Only 0.87 XG for us. We're struggling. I'm gonna sub Hanus also. Um, I'm far from please. Come on guys, wake the hell up. Dedu for Hanus. For Ojeda, mm, I got no one because uh, Ravnić is injured. <clears throat> Come on. Push. Core goal already. I don't want to start overloading in Liga 1. I keep getting emails, offers from uh, Twitch to get affiliated. No thank you. They bombard me every day with emails. I am good. Kolodic on the right. Ratsari. Kolodic again. Good cross for Dedu. 
Unbelievable. I'm gonna lose my mind if we don't win this game. The <laughs> Laja. All right, another corner, Selaja again. From the right. Ojeda. Back to Selaja. Inside the box, cut inside. Nope, he's losing possession. They are desperate. They're trying to clear the danger the way they can by shooting it. Ojeda. Decent control of the ball. Good run on the left. Crossing for Dedu. Not tall enough. We'll check. And finally, we get a break. one nothing after 50 minutes. Ojeda here with a decent cross. From the rebound. Koledic crosses it. Right at Vulcek. And our attacking midfielder from Czech Republic puts it in. 10 shots to nothing. The XG is 1.37. Selagia. Free kick from the left. And... It was almost perfect. It hits the post. Selaja again, free kick, but this one is far. We'll check, we'll check inside the box. Blocked again. Come on, one more. One more goal, boys. I don't want to start sweating around 80th minute. Come on. We're better than this. There you go. Corner kick from the left, Selagia. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he, he, he took a shot with his heel. Jose Luis. Alright, let's make some moves. I'm not liking this. Um... Let's take out Jose Luis and put in Kurstic. We move Medic to the right. Ojeda. I have no one to put to change Ojeda with. Alright, um Delorm. Ujun. And then we move Ratari on the left. And that's it. Selaja yellow card in 6.5. We're definitely slowing down right now. As expected, when we reach the winter break, we're always starting to play like shit. Very strong start in the summer. And then very close to the winter holidays, we're slowing down. Only one nothing. It looks one-sided, but at any time they can come back. At any time they can have a freaking lucky goal. Call it each tackle in the box and they're checking it. What was that, Mircha? Did you step on his toe or something? Come on, Call it each, stop faking it. That was nothing. They are going to give it. Mircha, yellow card. I guess it was. 
I guess it was a penalty. Five minutes left. Come on, Vulcek. Seal the deal. There you go. We had to try. That's why I'm concerned. We had to really try. Well placed shot by Vulcek. Man of the match. And probably the best player in our squad right now. Ojeda, disappointing. Celaja, he wasn't that bad. I think 6.5 is kind of rough. Kind of too much. He should have been around 6.7. And probably will get there. He was involved in most of our chances. Kurstic for Delorme. Delorme, Razzari. Anytime the ref will put a stop to this. Three points. And we're trying to forget what happened in England against Tottenham. Well done, boys. Good win. I'm not going to go over the top with my praises, but I'm happy with the performance overall. Fifteen points in front of the second place, Farul Constanza. Our next game will be against uh, Fecesebe in uh, the Romanian Cup. Quarterfinals, but that's for later. Uh, we have more scout reports here. Ruben, 130 current ability. Maybe he's interested, who knows. And Rubio, this guy. Yep, see you, Batsmer. See you next time, man. Interesting potential for this kid. Very interesting. I like what I'm seeing, though. Four stars and a half. Enrique Rubio. 34 million. Club Bruges. Yeah. We'll see how much money we'll have in the winter. Damage heal. Four to nine days injury for Emeka. Vulcek. Let's praise him for the two goals. Pedersen injured for three days. Fifth straight win. And press conference. Alright guys, let's do a stream recap before we end things here. Uh, so, the very first game we played today was against Petrolul. 4-0 win away. We beat also Universitata Craiova on the road 2-0. And the most disappointing game for today's stream was the loss in Champions League Game 5 against Tottenham 4-2. Unrecognizable team in that game. And uh, we came back in Liga 1, uh, we just ended uh, against Rapid, winning 2 nothing. Still trying to recover from that loss. And tomorrow when I come back guys, we will continue with uh, the second part of Season 23 and uh, more fun games in uh, Europe and Liga 1. Thank you for watching guys, see you all tomorrow, bye bye.